Well, hello, and welcome to my den. As you can see, the fire is crackling, and in this time of December-ish, it makes me reflect on the many wonderful presents I've received. Thank you, Mother, for this delightful robe patterned after the skin of the Gorn which Kirk slay. Speaking of a sleigh, a sleigh brought me another thing, a beautiful item. A lovely book, a very Klingon Christmas. And it is this book which I will share with you, dear viewers. Tis only on Christmas we Klingons fill mirth, the day of the warrior Kalis's birth. The most fearless of fighters we'll never forget, for his equal among us has never been met. This story is known by us all near and far, of the leader who swore to return on a star. But the one day that Klingons all hold most dear has been stolen by humans, just like our Shakespeare. They took our tradition, our hero, our rites, our bright decorations, our Christmas tree lights. They've changed up our story, they've got it all mangled, in much the same way that our lights become tangled. It's true we praise Kalis in music and song, shouting out battle carols for all the night long. These songs might not start out sounding so fine, but they always get better with hot mulled blood wine. Then on Christmas Eve night we await Santa Claus, but our Kringle's equipped with retractable claws. He too makes a list of who's naughty and nice, but he doesn't waste time checking it twice. He sees who's sleeping and knows who's awake. His scanners and sensors aren't easy to shake. Though Santa is fearsome, he also brings joy. He brings something special for each girl and each boy. There's dollies and yo-yos, toy trains and conductors, and maybe a mechleth, or a pair of disruptors. He carries them all in a warp twenty sleigh, led through the night by eight tiny birds of prey, and sometimes a knife that will help clear the way. Neither barring the doors nor the chimney will do, Santa's transporter beams him right through. But houses are ready, they've all left him snacks, some gach and some racht for his hunger attacks. The kids sneak downstairs for their one chance to see Santa Claus putting all their gifts beneath the tree. Laying finger on com badge that sits on his chest, he beams back to his sleigh to bring toys to the rest. The kids then rush out to see what he's brought and learn if their fears were all truly for naught. For the honorless child will find something shocking a troublesome tribble awaits in the stocking. But the brave Klingon tykes will have nothing to dread from the visions of evil that dance in their heads. When the children begin to play with their new toys, parents send them outside to escape from the noise. Just like Earth kids, they have fun in the snow, making snow gongs and weaponized snowballs to throw. Before long they'll head home, escaping the cold. Klingons hate winter, so fast it gets old. In each noble house, families start the feast with the head of the house carving up the roast beast, er, targ. Klingon foods are so fresh that some of them crawl, the finest of Kronos, but that is not all. Jumpa sticks, plomac soup, and sweet saurian brandy. Alien foods are devoured like See the couple canoodle below the mistletoe? If he survives courting, he'll become her new beau. The leaves twinkle green and the berries shine redly. Only Klingons could love a plant so deadly. Santo watches it all from the stars up above, celebrating the day with honor and love. With a shout of Kopla! His slave quickly departs. Coordinates set on his private star charts. And he's heard to exclaim, in the night still and calm, Happy Christmas to all, and to all, Madra! Thank you for joining me. 
and I hope that you have enjoyed your Christmas presents as much as I. Are you okay? <laughs> no! It's so... <laughs>